and today I'm at home and I've got some jobs to do. Luckily, this kitchen has a few gadgets to help me out and this is the first one. It might look like a cupboard, but inside, it's a dishwasher. You may have one just like this at home. Dishwashers are really helpful because they clean all your dishes after you've had your lunch. Just look how clean and sparkly all the dishes are. But what I want to know is how do they get clean? How does a dishwasher turn a dirty plate like this into a nice clean sparkly one like this? Do you know how a dishwasher works? Let's find out. How does it work? A dishwasher. To see what goes on inside, first we need to get all the clean dishes out. There we go. Now the dishwasher's empty, come and get a closer look at what's inside. Inside the door is a secret space. It's the soap dispenser. Just like you use soap to wash your hands, the dishes need soap to get clean too. And this, is where your soap tablet or liquid soap goes. But what do you think we need to mix with the soap to get the dishes clean? Yes, you're right, it's water. But how does the water get inside? Water is pushed along this pipe here into this. It's called a spray arm and there's one at the bottom and one at the top. It's these little holes here all the way along that spray out the water. It's a bit like a big spinning shower. Let's discover how this dishwasher works. When the dishwasher is full of dirty pots and pans and the door is closed, we press the start button and the machinery inside springs into action. First, water starts pouring in through a little spout at the bottom. To get the dishes nice and clean, the water needs to be hot. So it's heated up by this. It's called the heating element. And as it gets hot, all the water around it gets hot too. Then it's time for some soap. You might hear that clunk noise if you listen really carefully outside a dishwasher. The soap mixes in with the water and then it's pushed through a pipe to the spray arms. As the water is sprayed at the dishes really fast, all the bits of food are washed off. The dirty water is drained away and fresh water comes in to give everything a good rinse. Like washing shampoo out of your hair. Once all the water has gone again, the clean dishes are dried with hot air. I don't know about you, but I want to see all of that happening for myself. It would be very dangerous to climb inside or put our hands in, but I've got a way to see what happens inside the dishwasher when the dishes are being washed. This is my special camera and it's waterproof, so it won't get damaged. I'm going to put it in the dishwasher. Remember, this is a special camera. You mustn't do this yourself. I've saved us a couple of dirty dishes just for this. Oh, look at all that tomato sauce. Let's pop the plates in the dishwasher. Whoop. And check the soaps in the dispenser. There it is. Are you ready? Let's go. 
Now the heating element will be making the water hot. There goes the soap. And here comes the water. Listen, can you hear it all sloshing about? That sounds like a lot of water. Can you see the spray arms spinning? Let's hope the water gets rid of all that tomato sauce. It looks like it's working. And now all the water is draining away so that the dishes can be dried. Wow! Two clean, sparkly dishes. Clever dishwasher. And now you know what happens inside when the door is closed. I loved seeing inside the dishwasher with my special camera. What was your favourite bit? Can you remember the name of the parts that spin around to spray the water about? That's right, they're called the spray arms. Did you hear all the water spraying around? That sounds like a lot of water. And did you see the compartment where the soap went into the dishwasher to wash those dirty dishes? I'm going to have a lovely cup of tea with this clean, sparkly cup. Apart from my lovely cup of tea, what else am I using right now? It's not the teapot, it's the table. Tables are really useful, aren't they? They come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. You can eat your lunch at a table, do a drawing at a table. Lots of tables, just like this one, are made from wood. But do you know how a table is made? Let's find out. How is it made? A table. To make a wooden table, you need a big tree, and you find those in a forest. All wood comes from trees. This machinery is cutting the trees down so the wood can be used to make things. These trees are about a year old. This one is nearly five and look, it's bigger than me. But finally, they'll grow to be this big. This is a special forest and every time a tree is cut down, a new one is grown in its place. That way we'll always have lots of wood to make new things, like a wooden table. And here is a busy factory where these furniture makers turn wood into brilliant things we can all use. Like a front door, a stool you can sit on, or a toy you can play with. We're going to see how a table just like this one in the drawing is going to be made. First, the furniture makers pick the bits of wood they're going to use and then the wood needs to be cut so it's the right size and shape. And for that, we need to use a special cutter. It's called a table saw, but it's a bit noisy, so I'm going to pop on my ear protectors. Workshops and tools can be very dangerous, so you should never go near them without a grown-up. Wow, look how quickly the saw cuts through the wood. The wood is now cut to the right size, but can you see it's all rough? So the furniture makers are going to make it nice and smooth. Joelle is going to use this special machine called a plane, but it's not like an aeroplane you'd see up in the sky. 
This plane has a very sharp edge that peels off the rough parts of the wood. When the bottom of the wood slides across the plane, the rough bits are cut off. Can you see all the bits of wood flying off? This is my special slow motion camera. Let's slow things down and really see what's going on, shall we? The plane works a bit like a potato peeler. As it moves across the surface of the wood, thin slices peel off. Can you see all that wood being shaved off? Look at all these wooden curls. Aren't they great? And look, you can see how much smoother and lighter the wood is. Now the top surface is gone. Now we have everything we need to make the table. These three pieces of wood are going to be stuck together to become our table top. And these four pieces will become the table legs. But how do we attach the table to the legs? Well, we need to make a frame. Can you see this piece of wood? has a little bit sticking out the end. And then this piece has a hole cut in the middle. Watch what happens when I put them together. It's like a jigsaw. The two pieces have been cut perfectly so they lock together into something called a joint. Tom attaches all four legs by the joints to make the table frame. Tabletop together and places it on the frame. Now this looks like a table, but it needs one last thing to finish it off. Do you know what that is? Joelle paints the sides of the table with a nice shiny colour. And for the top, uses a special kind of paint called a varnish, which helps protect the wood. Ta-da! It's ready and doesn't it look amazing? To think this started off as wood from a tree and now it's a beautiful table. I loved seeing how the old wood was turned into a table. What was your favourite part about seeing how a table was made? Do you remember the name of the machine used to smooth the wood? That's right, it's a plane. Did you like the sound of the saw? It was very noisy. And did you see the way the varnish was painted on to make it shiny? So the next time you eat your lunch, play a game or paint a picture at a wooden table, just think of the trees that wood came from once upon a time. And now you know how the soapy water is sprayed around inside a dishwasher to clean those dirty dishes. Talking of which, I better put my dirty cup in the dishwasher. See you next time.